Welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna do the combine and the draft, and see what team I got drafted by. 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. This guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. Kyle, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first round draft. No way. Pick. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank I Thank you. Have a long no, time. just be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? When I found out I wasn't going to start in college, it became clear that I should transfer if I wanted to play at the next level, but I didn't because my word means something. I'm proud of my decision to stick. And if I was running a team, I think I would want players that were willing to compete. Hey, I'm going to have to call you back. back yes, I'll have to call you back. Okay. I, love you. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You know, you and I have a mutual friend, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis. What do you think he would have to say about your ability to uh, lead a locker room? Navigating a locker room can be tricky. I do my best. I try to find a balance between being the locker room guy and then the guy that the coaches can rely on to get the team bought in. But it's hard. You know, Jack had some concerns about your leadership. But I'm not seeing that. Little inside scoop. Uh, the owner wants someone with the measurables. So you go out there and you impress. You'll be on our radar. I can do that. Don't let me down. Thank you. Hmm. Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. You want me to give you my phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, at least now I know I can trust you with your playbook. Yes, you can. I just You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. Well, back of the bus. Back of the bus? Why? I can help people escape out the back. Are leaders in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus? Leaders are where they need to be. Interesting answer. I figure back of the bus, saving people makes me look selfless, it shows that I'm a team player. Good answer. The correct answer should have been wherever I'm needed.
It's just a calm, I guess. A calm, man. Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. Every mistake amplified. But we got it though, right? At least I know I do. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for your agent. I don't have an agent. Didn't have an agent. Less more. Congratulations. For what? For getting an agent. Me. Boom. I don't think. Have I met you before? You're about to know me. Quarterbacks, group four. Looks like you're up to throw, kid. Go get him. Or should I say, go get him, client? <laughs> you, uh. No, I'm good, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Got a lot of people already. Full roster. Too full. Yup. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yup. Here we go. Ten low. Yup. Set ready. Set go. Yup. Ready, ready. Seventy. Go. Go now. Fifty. Play. Five. What? Come on. Down. Eight, three. Hit it. Come on, set. Sit the old punch. Go, set. Fifteen, one. Fifteen, one. Ready, ready. Oh, come on. Here we go, here we go. Eight, put up. I, you're kidding! Come on! Here we go! Here we go! Yeah. Set, ready! 30 base! Come, go! Ready, ready! 18 gator, five! Go now! 10 logo! Get it! Seventy, Indy. Now. These are easy. I'm mean, gonna pick the hard. Fifty, plant two. That's not gonna count. Oh, damn. Ready? Big grip, big grip. Ready up. Hit it. Sixty out there. Ready? Sixty Pittsburgh. Ready? That didn't count. Twenty out of twenty-four. That's pretty good. Last time I eighteen out of York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. How would you feel about playing for the Giants?
Well, they're right. This is a team that needs a leader. And they know I can be the guy for them. Very true. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? Well, I pride myself in my ability to get the job done. I'm able to focus and perform under pressure, and I think you guys saw that in the college playoff. You definitely did. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? Have any of these critics ever played football? <laughs> Honestly, I don't care what they say. It's all white noise to me. All that really matters is what those NFL teams think, guys. I just, let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your plan B? No plan B for me. It's mm. a great answer. It's very mm. smart. Thank you. Oh, Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my client. Uh, let it, um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it, you'll show that the teams can count on you. So, uh, so, uh, answer it, answer it, answer it. Hello? Congratulations. Yeah. I'm one of the select few players invited to this year's NFL Draft in Nashville. Please have your agent contact our office, and we'll see you in the Music City in April. Yes, sir, what can I help you with? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, sorry. sorry. Wait. What are you gonna wear? I never even thought about that. Come on, Les. Think. What is he gonna wear? A suit. Under. I don't... I don't have a suit. We can purchase one. Give me goods. Check this guy out, huh? It's a winner right there. Yeah. Come on, give him a turn. Give him a spin. That's it. Yeah, drink it all in. Okay, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I don't think I have to do that. Okay, right. Give me the over shoulder look. Here he is. Look right here. Looking good, man. Look my way. My way. What's going on? Just you, please. Yeah, yeah, no. Take it all in. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Hey, this guy. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the 2019 National Football League Draft Live on NFL Network. An amazing spectacle right here in Nashville, Tennessee that has been filled with intrigue and drama. And it is all about to suddenly subside with answers to long-standing questions involving the Heisman Trophy winner, Kyler Murray. DJ, you're first. What are you expecting to see tonight? Well, I'll, I'll just wait for this first pick, not knowing what's going to happen with the first pick and Kyler Murray specifically. That, to me, is the biggest story in this entire draft. And for me, over the last few years, it's been about movement to get quarterbacks. You know, I'm looking to see, is there going to be some movement? Are people going to start jumping up? <laughs> oh, come on. Six picks left in the first round. Can't afford my condo representing a second rounder. Sorry. We need more clients. Signal in here. Stinks. Hey, anybody know how much a uh, 26th pick makes? No? If that's the bank calling about my condo loan, tell them I'm not here. Just. Hello? Hey, this is John Gruden, head coach of the Raiders. The we Raiders again. Making you the newest member of our team. Congratulations, kid. Be ready to compete. Coach, I'm ready to make 25 other teams regret their decision. That's what I like to hear. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Come on. Let's come up here. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select. Let's start at the 
top, shall we? The Raiders. Draft winners or draft losers? Ah, uh, the who is the hers? <laughs> How could you call them? They, they filled the need of quarterback. It's great. They filled the need. They got a quarterback. Yay! And they spent a first round pick on a six round talent. That's a winner. <laughs> six round talent? Did you watch this dude play? Yeah. Did you see him at the Thank combine? you. Mm, Are you thank serious? You. He's been jumping up the draft boards for months. Yeah, I watched him sit on the sideline in college. He couldn't even start for his college team. He's going to save an NFL franchise. Sure yes. he is. And I'll tell you why. This isn't college. For the first time in his life, he actually has a coaching staff who is putting their faith in him, a coaching staff that actually believes in him. So where are we headed? Oh, is it on the app? That you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't gonna say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's gonna turn things around here for our quarterback situation. And I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week, and I was not impressed at all. I do a little JV coaching in my spare time, so I have a really good feel about the game. Oh, should have told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't even met him yet. Coach Gruden, Chucky, he's only been back in Oakland for a year, and he's completely changed the team. New schemes, new systems, new players, and at least you got some weapons to throw to him now. Wow, Mr. Big Chest, A.B. And I was a big fan of the Tyrell Williams signing, too. Kid is no joke. And listen, I think you're the guy for the next 10, 20 years. The perfect guy for the move to Vegas. Gruden's gonna love you. I'm gonna call you Viva Las Vegas. Can you tell Gruden I said that? Thanks. Uh, I'll pass it along. I'm not really sure how much they'll listen to me, though. I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Good-looking guy. I think if he fights a Raptor, the Raptor's gonna win. That's just me. That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I, I actually did some... I do some archaeology on the side. And I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at... Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, I think you just dropped me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front. Thank you. Start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas, if you need emus, any type of livestock, home loan, or warranty, you call me. You're the guy. If you... Good luck out there, kid. Start your week by what? installing Overall your game plan. Right. Empty ability. This is the player card. This is your development trait. Superstar and super. No, I don't want to leapfrog. Um, uh, Patrick is about to high. Jukebox. I first one free. Hmm. It's like a running back one. Throw power 93. Speed is decent. 
Now, who do I have to try and get the starting job from? I know it's gonna be, uh, um, I swear I forgot his, I swear I forgot his name. Yeah, Derek Carr. Uh, uh, why, they have Deshaun Kaiser? They signed Mike Glennon? Why? Well, I think I'll probably be the starter. Well, I'm gonna end the video. Next video, I'll play a couple games and yeah.